Hi everyone and welcome to Home Reno Collectibles where today we're going to be taking a look at the Disney Store exclusive Marvel Ultimate Series Captain America and this is part of the premium action figure line from the Ultimate Series. This is a new line of a larger scale Marvel figure. And I just want to mention before we get into the video any further that it is dedicated to Glenn Webb who recently sadly passed away and was never able to actually review this figure and he actually showed in a video that this actually was going to be one of his upcoming reviews along with the Black Widow that's also in the line. So I'm dedicating these two reviews to him. He was a big inspiration for me. I was a fan of his and a lot of his fans also watch my videos so you know everyone as a community has come together and I really just thought that you guys would really love to go ahead and see uh, these reviews that he was going to do and was never able to. And in this video I'm going to be comparing this guy to Marvel Legends Captain America but it's not just going to be one, it's going to be a bunch that I have because obviously he would have never been able to include this guy in an action figure evolution episode as part of Captain America so I thought I'd go ahead and show him next to a bunch of the Captain Americas that I have and hopefully that will suffice for you guys. And so on the box here it says premium action figure and it's in a very very nice open window box you can see basically all around the figure as you can see so for a mint inbox collector this thing is really really fantastic uh, but obviously it's robust enough you can play with it it says three plus right there so that's absolutely awesome so mint inbox collector you're gonna love it uh, it's got a good shading and really good detail built just into the fabric right there so any collectors gonna love this with a th a, you know over 30 points of articulation so it's in that kind of Marvel Legends sort of range um, even import figures and stuff like that um, we have a really, really awesome collector-friendly box that opens very easily and everything as well, so you don't damage the box. So, overall, just just from looking at the box and looking at the figure like this, this line has everything going for it. I mean, you can even see it has interchangeable hands in there, so that's fantastic. On the back, you have a nice bio and a few pictures. So, uh, really, really nice. Let's go ahead and get this thing open and finally take a closer look. And here is Captain America out of the packaging. And I have to say, this thing is absolutely amazing. And I truly mean it. This has absolutely blown me away. I did not expect it to have as much articulation as it has underneath that clothing right there. Uh, it's absolutely phenomenal. So first up, let's take a look at the size of this guy and show it next to a few other Captain America, shall we? Standing straight up, this guy comes to about 11 and 3 quarter inches tall. So he's almost 12 inches. And so as you can see, Marvel Legends Captain America's come up to about his waistline. They are pretty much exactly half the scale of this guy. So there is sort of a Marvel Legends action figure evolution and then this guy that towers over them not just in height but also in articulation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that once we've taken a look at the detail. So first up, let's have a look at this shield. It is actually attached with actual straps right here. If you put this top one, which is slightly bigger, uh, over the top of his glove, it will not fall off. It's really good. It's a, a nice tight fit there because of the little uh, little pouch that's on the glove right there. It holds the shield nice and snug. So let's go ahead and just wriggle that off right there. And as you can see, there you go. You've got your bigger strap and your slightly smaller strap. The silver on the underside has a bit of, I guess, dry brushing right there to make it look worn, which is really nice. We have this really, really nice detail there as well that's actually molded in. On the top, it's really nice and metallic, the red and the silver and everything. I love how the blue, uh, where it's meeting the silver star, actually looks like a lighter shade of blue, uh, but it's just obviously just a bit thinner where it meets the silver right there. But it looks awesome, and honestly, the weight is really good. It's definitely the best Captain America shield that I have ever seen. Uh, you can't really store it on his back though, so I guess that's one thing that you could complain about. So one thing about this jumpsuit, you can actually uh, go ahead and unzip it and take him out of it if you wanted to. I don't really see why you would. Uh, there is a clip right here on the back of the belt if you wish to take that off. So obviously that is completely uh, movable right there. You have the nice silver buckles. You do actually get paint shading. You actually get some black over the top, so you actually have some weathering. You have uh, two of these hands, so one for each side, obviously, and then a pair of fists as well, one for each side, so there's no really point uh, in actually showing you the others because it's just the exact opposite right there. I like to have it like this because I like to have the shield on his left arm. Whatever action figure or whatever I'm doing, I always have Cap shield on his left side, so I like to have a fist over there. 
the head obviously is the only part of him that is not uh, got like the material it is just the plastic the way that they've done the head it does look I guess a bit more childish or child friendly should I say than for example the Marvel Legends figures but it does look really really good and honestly with the molded in detail right there it doesn't look too plain in comparison to the rest of this I love how they've made it look like the scale mail the star is actually printed on there as well uh, you have the nice stitches there it's just absolutely phenomenal where with pretty much every Captain America you would always get dodgy paint on these stripes obviously here they're sewn in and because you have the awesome muscle actually underneath there it's just all proper proportions and everything and it just looks absolutely fantastic and it does look the most like the Marvel Now cap figure so as for the articulation you got a ball joint at the head so it can rotate all the way around forward back left and right and up and down uh, at the shoulders here you actually have a butterfly joint forward and back the shoulders come out to the side and rotate all the way around rotation right there double jointed elbows and then rotation at the wrist and a hinge and you can also rotate this piece around as well you have a ball joint so you can go left and right forward and back and uh, side to side there at the uh, waist there as well or should I say at the diaphragm kind of joint so that's really cool uh, ball jointed hips out to the side forward and back you have a rotation there as well double jointed knees obviously you can rotate the uh, legs there however you want these pieces the actual leg isn't rotating it's just the boot on it that sits on it because it just slips over and then the feet you've got a hinge in there and a ball right there so you have all manner of awesome articulation really good ankle pivot and everything and a toe hinge this thing is absolutely phenomenal. It has better articulation than Marvel Legends, and this is £30. Marvel Legends retail at the moment in this country as £24.99, as ridiculous as that may seem. Because I buy them uh, in bulk from Kapow Toys, like as the whole wave, I usually get them for around about £19 each. But still, for about an extra £10 more, you're getting twice as much plastic, better articulation, and you're still getting uh, great paint detail and uh, well even better detail i guess because you get the material and also you're getting the interchangeable hands as well so this is a really 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 fantastic deal right here so if you can't tell i absolutely love this figure it looks fantastic it feels fantastic it's got good weight great articulation the design is epic and i cannot wait to see what they uh, put into the line because they actually say it's going to be a big line filled with heroes and villains so can't wait to see who comes next so thanks for watching guys if you enjoyed the video go ahead and give it a like and remember black widow will be coming tomorrow so go ahead and stay tuned to the channel for that if you want to check out more pictures of these figures check out my instagram it's homerino123 the link is in the description below and for more marvel figures go ahead and subscribe so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.